Hello, my friend. Welcome back. How are you? All right. So good to see you here. Welcome back. Today, rule number 10. Be precise in your speech. Why refuse to specify when specifying the problem would enable its solution? Because to specify the problem is to admit that it exists. Because to specify the problem is to allow yourself to know what you want, say, from a friend or lover, and then you will know precisely and cleanly when you don't get it. And that will hurt. Sharply and specifically. But you will learn something from that and use what you learn in the future. And the alternative to that single sharp pain is the dull ache of continued hopelessness and vague failure in the sense that Time, precious time, is slipping by. If you leave things vague, then you never know what is one thing and what is another. Everything will bleed into everything else. This makes the world too complex to be managed. If you have to consciously define the topic of a conversation, particularly when it is difficult or it becomes about everything and everything is too much. This is so frequently why couples cease communicating. Every argument degenerates into every problem that ever merged in the past, every problem that exists now and every terrible thing that is likely to happen in the future. No one can have a discussion about everything. Instead, you can say, this exact, precise thing, that is what is making me unhappy. This exact, precise thing, that is what I want as an alternative. Although I am open to suggestions, if they are specific. This exact precise thing, that is what you could, what you could deliver, so that I will stop making your life and mine miserable. But to do that, you have to think, what is wrong exactly? What do I want exactly? You must speak forthrightly and call forth the habitable world from chaos. You must use honest, precise speech to do that. If instead you shrink away and hide, what you were hiding from will transform itself into the giant dragon that lurks under your bed and in your forest and in the dark recesses of your mind, and it will devour you. Say what you mean, so what you can find out what you mean, so that you can find out what you mean. Act out what you say, so you can find out what happens. Then, pay attention. Note your errors, articulate them, strive to correct them. That is how you discover the meaning of your life. That will protect you from the tragedy of your life. How could it be otherwise? Confront the chaos of being. Take aim against a sea of troubles. Specify your destination and chart your course. Admit to what you want. Tell those around you who you are. Narrow and gaze attentively and move forward forthrightly. Be precise in your 
speech. Please comment here one thing that irritates you. Be specific, be precise, tell me exactly what irritates you. I want to see your comment. Thank you very much. I am Felipe Gibi. See you next class. Today, rule number 11. Do not bother children when they are skateboarding.